Hey guys, Dr. Danny McLean here. Just uh, coming back to you, ADIO Chiropractic in Libertyville. Had a great patient experience today that I wanted to talk to you about because this is again one of those things I don't always have a chance to stop um, and share with everybody because if I told everybody all, everything all the time, I'd have like one appointment time available per day. Uh, but this is a way we can kind of chunk it down and share it with you. So what I want to talk to you about today is stimulus response. Um, I had a patient come in today talk, talking about how she fell, had a head trauma, um, and a bunch of this other stuff. Long story short, she's, she had anticipated that it was a really bad wreck that she had. She fell off something and hit her head on the ground, whatever. Um, the details have been anonymized to protect the identity of the patient. Anyway, so head trauma fell on the ground, and she's, she thought that because she had a concussion, it was a really bad injury. It was going to require like a really big, extensive thing before she started to feel anything better. Um, and it's not the stimulus. It's not what I do to the patient that makes them better. It's how that patient responds. And that is really a key piece because that takes into consideration the patient's health status. I've had really, really healthy people slip, put their back out, I put it back into place manually, and they're like, oh, yep, that's good. Then I have other people that have just been sitting in a chair for 35 years and they're all crunched over, they go to move and they don't move well. Well, I, I, I moved a bone, similar situation, different setup, move the bone back into place, and they're like, ah, I don't know, it's okay. It's not great. It's a little better. It's more like a dull, achy. It's not like a sharp, stabbing knife in my back. The difference is the health status of the patient, and that's what determines the response. You have input, process, output. If I have a calibrated input and the output is variable, it's determined by the process, and that's the health status of the patient. D.D. Palmer was famously quoted for saying, two men eat the same lunch at the same bench. One gets sick and one does not. What's the difference? And that's a quote basically talking about how healthy was the guy who ate tainted food who didn't get sick versus how healthy was the guy who ate tainted food that did. That's, that's really what we're talking about. So it's the response to care. It's not the stimulus. Like I've had some people that come in and they have a really terrible headache. I adjust their neck, eh, they feel a little better. Put a needle, top of the head, boom, headache, gone. The people that come in, same thing, needle, no no change. I, I rub a couple of points on, on their leg and headache's gone. Rub a couple of points on the hand, headache's gone. I had one lady, I did all this stuff and she's like, I don't, I don't feel any better. So I, I grabbed a glass of water and I put a, a, a couple of pinches of salt in it. I have uh, Celtic sea salt here because it has about 78% of the minerals that you need in order to, to live life. Regular table salt doesn't really have any minerals, but sea salt is fantastic. Anyway, so I put a little bit of sea salt in there, um, and I had to drink about eight ounces of water. And in about 12 minutes, her headache was pretty much gone. I had her waiting around because she said it was a really bad headache, and I wanted to make sure that she was safe, um, and that also when she left, she'd feel comfortable. So it's not the stimulus, it's the response. So my job is to figure out what the situation is so that we can apply the appropriate stimulus to get the response that we're looking for so that patient satisfaction and problem resolution happens. Um, and that's the part that I really focus on. Hopefully that makes sense. So when you're thinking about what's going on with your health, if you're currently seeing a, a doctor for health, any kind of health condition or health care, and it's not producing the results that you want, you have to look at what are they doing? How are you responding to care? Because I've also had people that come in, they're like, oh, doc, I drink way too much. Or people that are like, yeah, I know that I have terrible neck pain and wrist pain and stuff, but I'm not going to stop smoking. Okay, I'll do the best I can with what I have. I will provide the most calculated, precise stimulus, and then we'll accept how your body responds based off of the limitations you place on yourself. And that's, a, and that's, not, a, that's not a statement of judgment at all. I have people that come in, they're like, I'm just barely keeping it together because their life is running full speed. They're working two jobs. They have kids, they have school, they have all these other things. I, you know, I'm happy, I'm happy to welcome in anybody that needs help at whatever level that they're at and help them as much as I can with what we have. So just know that where you're at will determine your success and your health and your outcomes. And it's not the doctor's job to fix that. It's your, your doctor's job to help you as much as possible. So 
If they help you and you help you, then you're going to get a whole lot better. Um, hopefully that makes sense. It gives you some, some stuff to think about. And uh, we'll have more on this discussion as it happens. Uh, feel free to post comments below. Leave me, leave me something to, to look at or respond to, questions, any of that stuff. I'm, you know, I'm here for you guys. So have a great night and stay tuned.